Yes, sir, the cream. टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू रिवाइज स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी जैसे हम शुरू से सारे चैप्टर को रिवाइज करते हुए आ रहे हैं लास्ट टाइम में हमने थर्मोमीटर्स के बारे में पढ़ा था कितने टाइप्स के थर्मोमीटर्स होते हैं क्या क्या प्रॉपर्टीज होती हैं थर्मोमीटर की आज हम कंटिन्यू कर रहे हैं विद चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेंटी वन स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी में सबसे पहली चीज जो आपके पास आती है वो स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी की कंडीशंस क्या होती है और स्पेसिफिक हीट इट होती क्या है तो आई रिक्वेस्ट टू रीड फ्रॉम हेयर अब्दुल्ला जान फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट यस अब्दुल्ला यस सर The specific heat capacity of a substance is the heat required to produce a one degree Celsius rise in one kg. Yes. So, in very simple word, very simple definition of a specific heat capacity is what the amount of heat, and it is normally represented by C, small c. Remember, the amount of heat by which you can increase the temperature one degree centigrade. For example, the temperature of any substance is 100 degree centigrade, and you want to increase the temperature. You want to make it 101 degree centigrade. But another restriction is what the mass of that substance is also must be one kg, right? You are going to increase the temperature of one degree centigrade, and the mass must be one kg. So that amount of heat, what you will keep, this is called. Specific heat capacity. Yes, sir. Was welcome. You are here. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, after this definition, uh, what the thing? As we know that heat is like just like the form of energy, and always we measure the amount of heat in form of joules. So also, specific heat capacity is measured in joule. Per kilogram degree centigrade. This one is another important point to be remember that what is the unit of specific heat capacity? The unit of specific heat capacity is joule per kilogram per degree centigrade. And normally, in short, we will write like J slash kg degree centigrade in this form. Okay. Now, uh, after that one. Before I start with heat equation, here uh, I ask Sara to read from here. If the temperature of the substance fell by three degrees Celsius, the heat given out would also be six thousand joules. In general, we can write the heat equation as. Heat received or given out is equal to mass into temperature change into specific heat capacity. Yes. So another important thing, just like few of the important equation, wave equation, Lenz equation, just like one of the very important equation is here, which is called heat equation. And what is this heat heat equation tell us? This heat equation will tell us that how much heat received or how much heat given out. and how we can find this we need mass how much mass is there what is the change in temperature normally we represent with a uh, form of delta t or delta theta in form of different books and obviously specific heat capacity that c and in form of equation in form of letters if you will write it is in form of q is equal to m delta theta or delta t into c so if you have these three things then you know that how much heat is given out or how much heat is been taken out we will solve few of the uh, numericals also for this one but up till now these two things are clear that first what is specific heat capacity how you can define this and what the heat equation give us tell us yes about these two things Is the is these two things are clear for everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, okay, Sara, Rehan, Fawaz. It's clear. Come, what are you doing? 
आपने थोड़ा लेट ज्वाइन किया है हम रिवीजन के अंदर स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी कंटिन्यू किया है लास्ट हमने थर्मोमीटर्स डिस्कस किया था उसके बाद नेक्स्ट हम डिस्कस कर रहे हैं चैप्टर हीट के अंदर ही स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी चैप्टर ट्वेंटी वन राइट नाउ आफ्टर दैट वन वी हैव एन अदर प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ हीट दिस इज थर्मल कैपेसिटी few of the things are similar with this thermal capacity but few of the changes are also there read this thermal capacity read by musa the thermal capacity of a body is the quantity of heat needed to raise the temperature of the whole body by 1 degree celsius for a temperature rise of 1 degree celsius the heat equation becomes heat received equals to mass multiplied by 1 multiplied by specific heat capacity so that thermal cap so that thermal capacity equals to mass multiplied by specific heat capacity yes thermal capacity is consist on just only two things mass and specific heat capacity the point to be noted here in this thermal capacity that in this one whatever the mass is present you will mention there right the change in temperature is not there so both of these these equations are look like very much similar so be careful that in thermal capacity you have m into c mass into specific heat capacity and in the above mention when we were discussing heat equation change in heat so over there it was m delta theta and c that's delta theta was there so that was heat equation and here this one is what this one is thermal capacity okay in thermal capacity you will use normally the one value over there this practical work uh, you might perform in your lab and here in this one Uh, this also this one is the experiment and this experiment also i will show with the help of video and explain over there related with this the other thing is a specific latent heat in this one a specific latent heat okay first of all uh, take the checkpoint of this one what was the thing we discussed okay read this one pavas checklist sir सर हम हमने तो ये चैप्टर किए ही नहीं है अभी हम चैप्टर सेवन पे हैं वो तो स्कूल में चल रहा है ना ये मैं एडवांस को करवा रहा हूँ वो भी साथ साथ चलता रहेगा ये आगे वाला वर्ग भी तुम्हारा चलता रहेगा सर लेकिन ये मिक्सअप हो रहा है वो दोनों में समझ नहीं आ रही फिर चलो इसको बस लाइटली ले लो तुम उस पर ज्यादा करो ये मैं चाह रहा हूँ पहले भी तुम्हारी चीजें आ जाएंगी आगे टेंथ वालों के साथ ही और फिर उसके बाद वो भी रिकेप कर डालेंगे ठीक है सर ठीक है एज अ नॉलेज के तौर पे इसको लेते रहो जब तुम इसे नेक्स्ट टाइम के ऊपर पढ़ोगे इट विल बी इजी फॉर यू बिकॉज़ वंस यू हैव ऑलरेडी गॉट दिस पॉइंट्स ठीक है सर सर अब चेकलिस्ट पढ़ो पढ़ो ऑफ आफ्टर स्टडीइंग दिस चैप्टर यू शुड बी एबल टू डिफाइन स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी डिफाइन थर्मल कैपेसिटी कैन यू डिफाइन स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी सब डिफाइन कर सकते हैं वॉट इज स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी उसकी डेफिनेशन क्या है यूनिट क्या है हाउ वी रिप्रेजेंट दिस नाउ रीड कंटिन्यू फॉर सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम ऑन स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी यूजिंग द हीट इक्वेशन क्यू इज इक्वल एम मल्टीप्लाई बाय दिस थिंग वी विल परफॉर्म विद द हेल्प ऑफ एज आई टोल्ड यू दीडियो एक्सपेरिमेंट आई विल शो यू एंड वी विल डिस्कस दैट हाउ वी कैन सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस राइट तो यहाँ आपके पास दो चीजें इंपॉर्टेंट हैं एक तो आपको डिफाइन करना चाहिए स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी आपने लर्न किया सेकंड थर्मल कैपेसिटी कैसे डिफाइन किया जाता है और ये जो दोनों एक्सपेरिमेंट हैं ये जो ब्लू कलर से इन्होंने हाईलाइट किए हैं ये एक्सपेरिमेंट हम इनशाला तला वीडियो में शो करेंगे और फिर उस पर हम डिस्कस करेंगे एंड देन इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ हाई स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी ऑफ वाटर ये एक इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट है थोड़ा सा एज अ knowledge point of view not to be asked mostly here this point i suggest rehan will read this also this one is advanced for him yes rehan importance of heat specific 
importance of high specific heat capacity of water. The specific heat capacity of water is about 1400, 4200 joules kg degrees Celsius and that of soil is about 800 joules kg degrees Celsius. As a result, the temperature of the sea rises and falls more slowly than that of the land. A certain mass of water needs five times more heat than the same mass of soil for its temperature to rise by one degree Celsius. Water also has to give out more heat to fall one degree Celsius. Since islands are surrounded by water, they experience much smaller changes of temperature from summer to winter than large land masses such as Central Asia. Last point also. The high specific heat capacity of water as well as its cheapness and availability accounts for its use in cooling engines and in the radiator of central heating system. Yes. Now, we have a specific heat capacity of water is very high. This one is 4200 joules per kilogram per degree centigrade. And the soil that we have is 800 joules. What is the benefit of this one? As he discussed here, that the sea rises and falls more slowly than that of the land. Where the temperature is slowly change And on a certain mass, we have heat is about five times more heat than the same mass of the soil. And on this reason, on this ability, we use water where we have uh, radiators. Hai, as well as the central heating system, we use water as a cooling agent. You might observe sometimes that the car is warm, so parents do what they do? They close the car and put water in the radiator. Have you ever witnessed this thing? That the car is in the radiator? Who has seen it? ऐसा एक्सपेरिमेंट घर में परफॉर्म होते हैं मतलब गाड़ी पे परफॉर्म होते हैं सीने भी नहीं देखा सर आपकी आवाज अटकती है अच्छा मेरा सवाल ये था कि गाड़ी के रेडिएटर में अक्सर पानी डालते हुए देखा है अब को कि वो गाड़ी गरम हो जाती है या उस किसी लंबे सफर पे जाना होता है तो हम उसको रेडिएटर में पानी डाल देते उसकी वजह क्या होती है उसकी वजह यही होती है कि हाई स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी होती है पानी जिसकी वजह से वो हीट को बड़ी हद तक ऑब्जर्व करके मेंटेन कर लेता है सस्टेन हो जाती है हीट वहां पर तो वहां पर हमारे पास ऐसा कूलिंग एजेंट के तौर पर भी और इंजन को कूल करने के लिए भी हमारे पास पानी इस्तेमाल होता है तो ये इसकी एक इंपॉर्टेंस थी हाई स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी होनी तो ये वाला पॉइंट था तो मैंने कहा ये भी पॉइंट एज अ इंफॉर्मेशन आपको जरूर पता होना चाहिए तो ये तीन पॉइंट्स हमारे पास थे जो हमने इसके ऊपर Discuss here. Right. Now move on towards a specific latent heat. Because short as a point of Still, someone is typing on the keyboard. Yeah, type karo, bhai. Okay, start from here, Sarah. There's a screen is lagging. The screen is still here. I am not writing anything on that one. Chapter 22 is there in front of you. Yeah, but it has moved up. Now is it settled down? Yes, is it? No. Okay, I read on your behalf. You can just listen that one. Then I'll no, share. No, the screen is stuck. For everyone? Yes, sir. 
stuck at what stage there? The first page of uh, chapter 22. Okay. Ah, so first page of chapter 22 is stuck here. I am not changing it. Here I am writing. Can you see this? Here I am writing the star. I am drawing a star. At this point. Yep. Uh, Can you see this? Said to read the questions. Yes. Yep. There's the thing I mentioned. When I saw. Yeah. When, when I saw it. it. When a solid is heated, it may melt and change its state from a liquid from a solid to a liquid. If ice is heated, it becomes water. The opposite process phasing occurs when liquid solidifies. Yes, continue. If your substance melts at a definite temperature called the melting point, it solidifies at the same temperature, sometimes then called the freezing point. Yes, this is one of very old concept what we are studying from the earlier classes that whenever we provide the heat, uh, the solid will convert into liquid and the liquid convert into vapors form. And this one, uh, this thing happens at a very fixed and specific temperature. If it is a uh, pure substance, for example, if water is not pure, definitely it's melting and uh, its boiling point will be different. But if you have a pure substance that what will happen, the melting point of that one, for example, even if you have a wax or even if you have a iron, their melting point will be fixed. At that specific point, what will happen? They start melting, right? Similarly, there is a freezing point. If you will give, uh, if you will take out the heat from that one at a specific point, they start to freeze. But important thing, what we are going to discuss after this one is what? specific latent heat of fusion and specific latent heat of vaporization. Here, for this temp, uh, definition, look here. I hope it's scrolled properly and you can see the definition of a specific latent heat of fusion, isn't it? Yes, Abdullah Jan. Can you yes. see that the definition of- latent. Yes, sir. The specific latent heat of fusion of a substance is the quantity of heat needed to change unit mass from solid to liquid without temperature change. Without change of temperature. This one is very important concept. For example, if we talk about that we have water and we start to change the state of this one from uh, ice to liquid, right? There is a, some pieces of ice are there, they start to melt down. So what will happen if you check the temperature of that ice? What will be the temperature of the ice at that time? It will be zero degree centigrade because water is zero degree centigrade at that moment. And they start melting. Some of the water will come out from this ice. You can keep the thermometer inside of it. What you will observe? You will find that some of the water is present now. The ice is start melting. Check the temperature the temperature will remain zero degree centigrade. After some time, or almost half of the ice has been melted and now you are taking the temperature. What you will observe, you will find the same zero degree centigrade. You are looking that ice is going to melt. It is converted in form of the water, but still the temperature is not going to be changed. Why? Because this one is the specific latent heat of fusion of ice, zero degree centigrade. We represent in form of LF, L and small f. With the help of this temperature, you can find that un until all the ice become water, complete ice become water, the temperature will not change. It will remain zero degree centigrade. It will start from when? When the total ice is worth there. And now ice is going to be melt unless each piece of the ice has been melt, the temperature will remains zero degree centigrade. But you can observe what? That ice become water. So this state of change from solid to liquid without change of temperature, it is remains zero. This is called what? A specific latent heat of fusion. During this, as much as heat we use, so this amount of heat is a specific latent heat of fusion, right? The same phenomena is there whenever we talk about latent heat of vaporization. What the thing will be there? 
latent heat of vaporization read the definition musa the specific latent heat of vaporization i hope the screen is appear in front of you and make the stars there yes musa uh latent heat is also needed to change a liquid into a vapor the reading of a thermometer placed in water that is boiling remains constant at 100 degrees celsius even though heat called latent heat of vaporization is still being absorbed by the water from whatever is heating it when steam condenses to form water heat is given out the specific latent heat of vaporization iv of a substance is the quantity of heat needed to change unit mass from liquid to vapor without change of temperature again the specific latent heat is measured in joules uh, per kilogram or joules per gram in general the quantity of heat q to change a mass m from liquid to vapor yes. is given in by q equals one, to m multiplied what was the thing it is mentioned yeah the specific latent heat of vaporization of a substance just like we talk about that solid convert into liquid without change of temperature similarly one of the experiment was there but i didn't ask to read that one because i will explain this one in short whenever you have amount of water you start to boil can you listen to me everyone yes sir my voice clear okay so whenever you will start Uh, to give the temperature of this water you will observe the temperature is becoming 70 80 90 100 degree centigrade it is a pure water so 100 degree centigrade after 100 degree centigrade the temperature will not increase you can keep the thermometer inside your uh, water bowl but over there you will find that the temperature is not increasing even that the स्टोव इज ऑन चूल्हा जलता जा रहा है पानी जो है ना अब गर्म होता जा रहा है खोलता जा रहा है बबल्स आर कमिंग वेपर्स आर स्टार्ट कमिंग टेम्परेचर नहीं बढ़ेगा इट विल रिमेन हंड्रेड डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड राइट ऐसा क्यों बिकॉज नाउ द स्पेसिफिक लेटेंट हीट ऑफ वेपराइजेशन इज गोइंग टू बी कंज्यूम अब पानी कन्वर्ट होना शुरू हो जाएगा वेपर्स में अब वो पानी वेपर्स में कन्वर्ट होता रहेगा होता रहेगा जब तक वो सारा पानी वेपर्स के अंदर कन्वर्ट हो जाएगा जब तक उसका टेम्परेचर नहीं बढ़ना टेम्परेचर 100 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड ही है अब सवाल ये पैदा होता है कि हमने इतनी हीट दी उसको 100 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड तो उसका हो गया था वेपर जब उठना शुरू हुए थे जब ही हो गया था टेम्परेचर तो तो अब इतनी देर तक जो हम हीट देते रहे उस हीट का क्या सो दिस हीट इज कॉल्ड स्पेसिफिक लेटेंट हीट ऑफ वेपराइजेशन और इसको हम कैसे रिप्रेजेंट करते हैं एल ऑफ बी से लेटेंट हीट ऑफ vaporization so this is that amount of heat which we will consume to change the state from liquid to vapors without change of temperature temperature mein change nahi hai thermometer 100 degree centigrade dikha raha hai aapka bhara hua bartan tha pani ka wo aakhir tak zero pe chala gaya pura bartan khali ho gaya lekin temperature nahi badha to wo sari heat kahan consume hui as a uh, agent to convert this liquid into vapors and this is the formula the same formula we use for latent heat of uh, fusion as well but yahan par l of v r hai in that formula what we use m times l of f aata hai ye note down kar le dono formula iske definitions mein share kar dunga aapse यस नोट कर लिया तो दो चीजें हमने डिस्कस करी फर्स्ट वन लेटेंट हीट ऑफ विजन सेकेंड लेटेंट हीट ऑफ वेपराइजेशन और इन दोनों में क्या चीज हमारे सामने आई
इन दोनों में हमारे पास चीज सामने आई विदाउट चेंजिंग द टेम्परेचर स्टेट चेंज हो रही है सॉलिड टू लिक्विड एंड लिक्विड टू पेपर्स और इसका हमने फार्मूला भी देखा आई होप कि आपने ये फार्मूला भी लिख लिया होगा साथ ही फ्यूशन और वेपराइजेशन के कॉन्सेप्ट हमने पीछे पढ़े हैं तो इसके ऊपर आ जाते हैं रीड दिस पॉइंट मूसा फ्यूजन द काइनेटिक फ्यूजन द काइनेटिक थ्योरी एक्सप्लेन लेटेंट हीट लेटेंट हीट ऑफ फ्यूजन एज बींग द एनर्जी दैट इनेबल्स द मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ अ सॉलिड टू ओवरकम द इंटर मॉलिकुलर फोर्सेज दैट होल्ड दम इन प्लेस एंड वेन इट एक्सीड्स अ सर्टन वैल्यू दे ब्रेक free the vibratory position about a uh, motion about fixed positions changes to the slightly greater range of movement they have as, as liquid molecules and the solid melts the energy input is used to increase the potential energy of the molecules but not their average kinetic energy as happens when the heat causes a temperature rise yes now the question can be raised that if we are giving the heat where this heat were going if the temperature is not increasing then where this heat is going because we know that whenever we will give the heat always the temperature is going to be increase but still we are giving the heat and there is no increase in temperature so where this temperature is uh, where this heat is going so this heat is going to break their intermolecular force whatever keep hold them they are trying to break them and they are consume all of that power to break that molecular force that's why the temperature was fixed at a particular point at their melting point or at their boiling point and all the energy is continuously going to break their molecules in case of a solid if we say then they will break their molecules and make them liquid and if we talk about uh, in case of boiling so all the molecules is going to be break their force to make the molecules free to uh, fly to uh, evaporate from there right so this is that amount what consuming over there second thing the vaporization concept is also there but i wish that you also read this one vaporization yes so us yes sir uh, if a liquid molecules are to are to overcome the forces holding them together and gain the freedom to move around independently as gas molecules they need a large amount of energy they receive this as latent heat of vaporization which like like latent heat of fusion increases the potential energy of the molecules but not their kinetic energy it also gives the molecules the energy required to push back the surroundings atmosphere in the large expansion that occurs when a liquid vaporizes to change oh, 1 kg of water ab dekho whenever we provide the heat the same thing what i told you in case of fusion bahut strong energy chahiye hoti hai usko todne ke liye kyunki waise to aap jab energy dete rahenge uski kinetic energy ko increase karte rahegi particle ki movement badhti rahegi particle ki movement badhne se aapke paas kinetic energy increase hoti rahegi and uske sath sath jab hamare paas hame zarurat hoti hai ki uski force ko break kare to wahan par wo force breaking kiske zariye ho rahi hoti hai because of this heat एट दैट स्पेसिफिक पॉइंट जब उसकी एनर्जी लेवल इस फॉर्म तक पहुंच चुका होता है उसकी मूवमेंट इस फॉर्म तक पहुंच चुकी होती है बाकी तमाम हीट ऑल दैट हीट इज कंज्यूम टू ब्रेक देअर बॉन्डिंग एंड वेन एवर दे विल ब्रेक देअर बॉन्ड वॉट विल हैपन दे मेक देम फ्री टू फ्लाई फ्लाई ओवर देयर सो दैट्स वाई वी फाइंड द वेपर्स आर देयर वेपर्स वहां पर आपके पास जैसे पानी की मैंने मिसाल दी थी वॉटर के वेपर्स आपके पास वहां सामने आना शुरू हो जाते हैं वो एवोपरेट होना शुरू हो जाता है तो ये सेम कॉन्सेप्ट है किसमें फ्यूजन में और वेपराइजेशन में और यहां हमें सवाल का जवाब मिला कि जब हम चीज को गर्म कर रहे हैं पानी को गर्म कर रहे हैं उसका टेम्परेचर क्यों नहीं बढ़ रहा हंड्रेड से आगे बल्कि वो हंड्रेड से आगे बढ़ने की जगह वो वेपर्स बनना शुरू हो गए और सारा का सारा वेपराइज हो गया पानी तो वो तमाम एनर्जी कहाँ कंज्यूम हो रही थी वो तमाम एनर्जी कंज्यूम हो रही थी उसकी बॉन्ड ब्रेकिंग के अंदर और उन मॉलिक्यूल्स को फ्री करने के अंदर डू यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस कॉन्सेप्ट yes everyone fusion or vaporization kinetic theory kya hai iski ha bhai one by one sara understand yes sir 
Abdullah. Yes, sir. Musa. Yes, sir. Fawaz. Yes, sir. Rehan. <clears throat> yes, sir. चलो फवाद रेहान थोड़ा सा कॉन्सेप्ट तो तुम लोगों का बिल्ड हुआ होगा फॉर द फ्यूचर एक्सपेक्ट के फ्यूजन क्या होता है वेपराइजेशन क्या होता है और ये चीजें क्या होती हैं यू विल स्टडी दिस थिंग इन डिटेल व्हेन यू विल इन ग्रेट हैन बट राइट नाउ ये कॉन्सेप्ट हमारे पास आ गया फ्रॉम द रियल लाइफ ये चीजें हमारे पास किस तरह परफॉर्म हो रही होती है ठीक है ना सो वी विल कीप दिस थिंग टिल हेयर एंड इनशाला वी विल कंटिन्यू दिस कॉन्सेप्ट अलोंग विद द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ Uh, evaporation and boiling the differences between them what these process are and what is the kinetic theory behind this ye topic hum further discuss karenge in next class ke andar yahan tak mein koi koi question ho koi query ho koi doubt ho to puch lo yes kisi ko koi sawal koi problem अच्छा ग्रेट टेन के लिए आई सजेस्ट दैट यू मस्ट स्टार्ट टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड विद दिस कॉन्सेप्ट व्हाट द टू कॉन्सेप्ट वी स्टार्ट टू डिस्कस लेटेंट हीट ऑफ फ्यूजन लेटेंट हीट ऑफ वेपराइजेशन ओनली रिलेटेड दीज टू थिंग्स तो पास पेपर्स आई थिंक मैंने शेयर किए हैं टॉपिकल वन उसमें अगर मिल जाए और भी सर्च करके निकाल के वॉट द क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड विद दिस अटैम दिस क्वेश्चन एंड कलेक्ट योर डाउट रिलेटेड विद दिस तो so, इनशाला नेक्स्ट क्लास में हम उसको भी डिस्कस कर लेंगे नेक्स्ट तो इनशाला हमारी फ्राइडे को फिजिकल क्लास है तो उसमें हम डिस्कस कर लेंगे इनशाला ओके एवरीवन ओके सर ओके जी थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर योर टाइम इनशाला सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास टेक केयर क्लास अलैक्म वरम्ला